Hey, what's up there, Butterballs? This episode of the Jerky Boy Show with Johnny Brennan is brought to you by Gamefly. Go to Gamefly.com slash ha for your free 15-day trial, punk. Hello, this is uh, Frank Rizzo. Hello. My name is Sal Rosenberg. Hello. No, 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 not Sal. My name is Saul. Tough guy. Sure I do. I don't even know you. Yes, I do. How you doing, fruitcake? All right, let me I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll come down with my tools tomorrow. I start work tomorrow. Hello? Hello? Hi, uh, can I help you, sir? Yes, I need an honest ballot box. You mean you need a ballot box, sir? Yes. Is this for an election for a co-op condominium and association? That's right. Which is it? Which one? That's the one. First of all, I can't rent a box. Do some of these boxes get off path, go astray? Or... Oh, we, why would my, my ballot boxes go astray? Well, you know, hey, you ever, you know... No, sweetheart. When we do, like, we do the election from the beginning to the end, you touch nothing. That's what I'm looking at here. That's number one. That's the answer, okay? Because sometimes if the boxes are made out of faulty wood or not inspected... Well, these are not wood boxes, sir. We have our own metal boxes, and they stay with us. Okay. So the only thing that goes to your, your building, if you have them, are proxies. And a box would lock, a locked box to put proxies in, and we have, we have the key. That's all. <laughs> Ah. This gentleman just slapped me. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Hold on. Ah. Ah. All right, Mr. Fisher, what's the name of your condominium? Ah. Hello? Ah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. He slapped me. That's not my problem. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you tell me. Where are you from, sir? I'm from Long Island. That's ah. not going to help me. Okay, go ahead. No, you tell me where you're from. Where's the condominium? Oceanside. Oceanside? What's the name of it, sir? The condominium? Yes. It's Oceanside Estates. Ah! Oceanside Estates. Right. You've uh, never called before? No. Okay. Oh. Ah! 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 Hello. There's something wrong with you, Mr. Fisher. I don't understand what you're doing there. Uh, if you can't talk to me without somebody hitting you, there's something wrong, all right? Uh, I don't want to be rude. Well, that's, that's why we're having this whole thing. I'm going to be rude, okay? Uh, Either you call me when you're a gentleman, uh, or nobody is beating you uh, in the background, okay? He gave me a black eye. That's not my problem. Well, that's what we're voting about. That, uh, that black eye has nothing to do with me. When you're ready for an election, uh, you'll have to call well, me. Well, thank, thank, thank you, you for all the help. All right. I thought I'd throw in a little surprise right off the start, you know, just to start up the show and get off to, a, you know, we'll get off to a good start. But uh, just wanted to hit you with that right up front. You know, I don't usually do that sort of thing, you know, but I really love I love that cut. And um, it's, it's just so funny every time I hear it, just how nasty that woman was. She could care less. You know, this poor bastard's getting his ass handed to him while he's, he's on the phone and she could give a shit less, man. She was just. Very, very nasty woman. Very, that's really unfortunate. Anyhow, I hope all you guys had a great holiday. A nice uh, fucking turkey bird, turkey ass bird. You know, it, uh, I know I did. And, you know, I got all fucking whacked out here, sidetracked and all, you know, trying to get this whole Skype thing going. And, you know, so we can, uh, you know, have people on the show. So, uh, you know, just little by little, I, I'm getting it, you know, I'm, I'm a little uh, out of the gate here, a little slow with this show, but we'll be, we'll be on good track for next week, so I don't want anybody getting pissed off with me, you know, you know or, or nothing, you know, that wouldn't be nice. And also, too, you get, again, the feedback on what you guys, you know, you think about these new uh, segments of the show where people are actually interacting and part of the show, or just shooting the shit, you know, just let me know what you think about that. Yeah, so while I'm on the topic, I might as well just shoot it out, I'll give you the Skype number now. It's 718... 718- Eight seven eight five six six eight. So uh, that's again Skype. It's seven one eight eight seven eight five six six eight. Just throw it out there. I'll, I'll give it again at, toward the end of the show. But you know, at least this way you have it, and you know, and you go there, and you just uh, you know, like same thing. You know, you can uh, you can leave your messages there, or leave some funny ideas, or just fuck around, and or you just you know go over there and just you know lambaste me or do a character or whatever the hell you want. And uh, and if there's some really funny shit, man, we'll we'll put it on the show. So go and leave some funny stuff. All right, there, jerky. Okay, so this is the new the new section of the podcast where um you know we 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 take the uh, Skype <clears throat> the Skype call and um you know it's it's a fan or it's it's just a, somebody that's out there that's been following for years and you know gets a chance to actually call in or be part of the show 
and um, you know, just shoot the shit back and forth, no matter what it is, that whatever the hell you want to, it's on your mind, whatever you want to say, or just a you know, just a regular conversation. But um, you know, and so we'll learn as as we're going here, you know, if we want to tweak this or do that or whatever. But um, give it a listen and uh, see if uh, if it, you know if you were on what you know what you might uh, come up with or what you might want to throw around or just have some fun with. All right, give it a listen. Uh hello. Johnny B, thanks for having me on, man. Appreciate it. Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Hey, it's Dan, our uh, fruitcake from the uh, jerkyboys.com forums. How's it going, Dan? Uh, welcome to the Jerky Boys show with Johnny Brennan. This is the, you know, this is all new, man. This, this whole fu- this setting up the Skype and all this shit, so I'm running a little behind. I want to apologize to the listeners out there. I'm, I'm a little fucking bottled up with this shit, but we'll be on track for next week. Hey, we're in the same boat. I had to go through this all myself today. My old lady's not home. She knows all this stuff. I don't know nothing about it. Well, that's what happens when, you know, like, with, you know, with me, I'm fucking ass backwards with all this, you know, technical shit. So I'm learning on the go. So how's it going, man? Good, good, man. Yeah, just uh, like I said, uh, just trying to figure all this stuff out today was just kind of, uh, <laughs> if, a car- if a computer's upside down and on fire, uh, upside down and on fire, it looks fine to me, but, you know. <laughs> right. I don't know nothing about it. Well, you know what? It's not. It's really not all that difficult as long as you, you know, you get your fucking hands in there and you play around with it. You know, Dan. Yeah, you got to do that. Yeah. So what's going? Hey, what, so what's going on? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from. I'm right. I'm in uh, Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. So I'm on the other side of the planet there. Wow, sweet, sweet Jerky Boys fans everywhere, right? Yeah, you're three hours ahead of me. So what's what, what's on your mind? What what kind of you know, shit you want to back around, slap around. Yeah, just, you know, um, uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention the, uh, the paintwork call. Uh, love that call. Every time you say fruitcake or call someone a fruitcake man, that just cracks me up. I got asthma, and I start laughing so hard, I get an asthma attack. Oh, and that geez. one call, <laughs> that one call, paintwork, you call that guy a fruitcake, like, I don't know, seven times or something. The guy barely even reacts to it. If he called me a fruitcake, I'd probably flip out. But this guy doesn't even, like, do nothing. It's hilarious. I know. It, you know, it's funny when you see in a lot of the calls, too. That sort of, uh, that sort of thing happens, you know. Like I, I just shoot out. You know, I think what it is, it's just it's a timing thing. You know, you got you to gotta kind of reel them in, you know, slap them in the mouth a little bit. And then, you, you know, you, you, you pull back a little bit and... You know, I, I've been able to, even Frank Rizzo gets away with that, you know, and very, very, it's, it's a pretty sweet deal. Oh, I love it. That one. I tell you, man, I can listen to that call every single day and laugh just as hard as I heard it the first time. Well, you got to be careful. Right? Now, what the hell? It, it sends you into an asthma attack. That's, that's, you know, that's not a good thing. You keep, <laughs> well, you hey, keep one of them, you keep one of them little fucking breathers or what do they call those little butan propans or whatever the fuck you spray into your face. I got all, I got all that shit. Got all that shit, tough guy. So that's right. Yeah. So I mean, you, you, you kind of feel a little bad for that guy, right? In the, in the pain call, he says, "So what? You know, so what do you got? Nothing. I got nothing. You know? Yeah. You know, <laughs> he's he's looking for paint work. I'm looking for paint work. You should hire that guy though, if you ever need any paint work done. Right. Well, absolutely. But uh, yeah. So I mean, what are what are the, what are the calls? You know, what do you uh, what do you what do you want to uh, shoot the shit about? Uh. I- Probably uh, another good good call is uh, uh, the one about the new awnings. That one, I, I, I found that one was really out of the box. You kind of had all the sound effects going in the background there, and it, it really sounded like there was a lot of shit going on in the background with the warehouse and the forklifts and, and Mike doing whatever Mike's doing. Right, right. That, that gets back to a, st- a story like I, I told in a previous uh, podcast that about Jerky Boys 3. You know, yeah. I, I did a lot of work for Jerky Boys 3. I, I wanted to, you know, step it up or do something just a little wacky, a little different, you know. So I started adding sound effects to the actual calls. So I said, you know, we could maybe build a little something here or there and try it out and see how it works. Yeah, it was very convincing, man. It was, uh, it, it, uh, I'm, I'm sure they were all convinced you were in some sort of busy warehouse, kind of, you know, jumping out of the way of these crazy forklift drivers and Mike doing whatever he's doing there. But, uh, Bring it hey, back, I'm... Mike! Bring it back! <laughs> Watch his fucking legs! Cut it down! Yeah. Yeah, I love that, man. That's 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 good old Mike Daruki. Yeah, all we got's canvas. Say again? All we got's canvas. Oh, yeah, that's the canvas shit. I need the, the metal ones, the good ones. That's right. But, hey, I wanted to ask you, man. Um, 
you're like the funniest guy out there, hands down. Oh, I appreciate. Nobody else, it. nobody else can, t- can touch you. Really. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't pay you for that, right? You got to let these guys know. I didn't fucking. I got nothing to do with that little setup. <laughs> I appreciate hey, that. <laughs> but I got to ask you, man. Like for me personally, when I when I'm down in the dumps and I need something to pick me up, first thing I go to is Jerky Boys. So I got to ask you, as creator of the Jerky Boys. When you want to hear something funny, when you want to laugh and relax and all that shit, what do you go to? What makes you you laugh? What do you think is funny out there now? You know, that's that's a good question. I, I got asked that a couple of times before, and the, the the front part of that is really cool because that I I get a lot where people say, you know, it it means a lot to you when you can create something over the years that people say they turn to, you know, for a little pick me up, you know, and that that's that's a pretty damn uh, you know special thing. Me personally. Like I said, I never, you know, I, I never really had any, you know, favorite this or that. You know, obviously growing up, you know, I, I, when I was a little kid, I used to love to watch Jerry Lewis. You know, uh, stuff like that. Like uh, my, my all-time favorites, uh, the Three Stooges. I mean, it, to, for me, yeah. it, never, it never gets old watching Curly get whacked off the side of the fucking head with a hammer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and, you know, women, women are funny because they're like, how the fuck do you, how do you watch that shit? How could you watch that shit over and over? But to me, it's 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 just priceless, and and it's it's the yeah. same thing. It's like it's such great shtick, like physical comedy, and 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 when Mo's <laughs> Mo's smacking people around, you know, there's a lot of you know that Mo, that tough guy Mo in Frank Rizzo. You know, like my father was a lot. He sounded a lot like Mo, and it's just funny uh-huh. when you know when I go back and and you you know you think about it, you know what things, what sort of things make you laugh. I would always have to you know remind myself like you know. The Stooges or, or Jerry Lewis or something along those lines. Yeah. Well, I, I tell you, man, and I'll be honest with you, uh, a little more than 10 years ago, I, I was in a really bad relationship, and it took me to some places I never thought I'd end up in. And what happened? You, I, you didn't get in trouble. You didn't, you didn't slap her around or nothing, did you? No, 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 no nothing like that. Nothing like that. But, but uh, there, were, there were some things said that, you know, really made me look bad. And... Uh, uh, not that I want to get into that, you know. That's my business, you know. But <laughs> I know, I know what you're saying, Mike. I don't want to go down that road. But, but, anyways, man, I, I, I went through the shitter a little more than ten years ago, and I really did. I got flushed down the toilet as a human being. And uh, a buddy of mine, really good buddy of mine, his name is Lee Lee McClue. He knew that I was a big Jerky Boys fan. He went out and bought two discs for me, brand new out of the store. And I tell you, I listened to those two discs nonstop for about a year and a half. And I met uh, my, my new girlfriend, who I'm with now, nine plus years. And, you know, just but before that time, you know, uh, the whole time I was down in the dumps, like nothing could pick me up except for the jerky boys. I put on the, the discs, man, and I'd be laughing my ass off like at the drop of a hat. Well, that's a good thing, man. That's, you know, like I said, I, I, I hear that a lot and I'm, I'm ver- I really appreciate that, be- to be able to do that and, you know, have people, uh, you know, if they're not feeling all that great, you know, just you know, look, especially today, we all need a good fucking laugh, right? I mean, yeah, you, know, with the, you know, the way things are going now, it's like everybody needs to have a, you know, a good belly laugh. That's right. Hey, if they say laughter is the best medicine, man, you got a freaking PhD. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, how, so, how, so what else is going on? Oh, not much. Just uh, enjoying the weather out here. You know, it's not so cold out here. I'm on I'm on Vancouver Island, so it's uh it's, it's pretty nice. It rains a lot. It's uh, sunny a lot, but we don't get a lot of snow. We don't get any hurricanes or any shit like that. Um, just pretty mellow. I uh I, I spend a lot of my spare time out uh, on the beach. Uh, what do you uh, walk up the... and down the fucking beach? What are you looking for? Piss clams? Yeah, yeah, piss like clams. Sal? So I'll, I, I do I do wildlife footage, so if you know if I see an otter taking a big dump or he's got diarrhea, I'll put it on YouTube. That's pre- that's pretty fucking that's pretty funny shit. Yeah, I got it too. Yeah, I had a whale come up to me uh, last year, blow. Uh, he sprayed me damn near in the face, scared the shit out of me. Why? The, why the hell would they do that? I don't know. I was just there minding my own business, and uh, he pops up out of nowhere. And uh, damn near soiled, my, soiled myself. It was uh, it scared the shit out of me. It really did. But it, I, I mean, I got some good footage though. That's kind of what I do in my spare time. And what do you put that shit up on YouTube? Yeah. And people can go look at the whales and and, and all that other shit. 
Yeah, I had an octopus come right up to me, and he like tried to grab my toe and shit, and then a big cold wave came up and went right up the crack of my ass. I had to run like hell. Jesus. It's all on YouTube, man. Are you kidding me? No. Where, where, how do you... Uh, it, it's just search uh, Wild About the Island with no spaces, and you'll see a bunch of... Silly wildlife videos, some idiot on the beach running away from whales and octopuses and seals and shit. That's me. Jeez, I thought you were just putting me on. No, no. That's, that's kind of what I do in my spare time. It's, uh, wow. Yeah, I get, there's good stuff up there. You guys don't play baseball or football or do shit like that? Uh, not so much, no. No. Yeah, Canada's pretty boring, you know. You don't play ball or nothing like that. You're chasing fucking whales and seals and whatnot. That's right, yeah. And then we uh, we watch NASCAR up here. It's like uh, it's like watching a space shuttle launch. You know, we're twelve years behind here, so this well, stuff is like you know. You're into that race car shit, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. I love the uh, the the old Jerky Boy sprint car there. I got that as my avatar on the uh, forum there. Yeah, that's that's a sweet ride. I mean, my brother races that car. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he do, he does it. he does very well. He he kicks he whoops up some ass. So, um, yeah, man, that's, that's pretty cool. But, so what other, you know, cuts or other, you know, bits that uh, the people out there listening might want to hear that you, you know, questions that you have that they might want to know about? Oh, yeah, like, uh, like uh, <laughs> the, uh, the piano tuning one. Yeah, that, we have a little, uh, little lawsuit there. I had to settle up with that. that. That guy actually came out of the woodwork. That was in the uh, that was in the beginning. That was the old days, you know, when we I was yeah. running I was running rampant and fucking banging. Uh, you know, that was the old Frank Rizzo. Uh, you know, the uh, back in the day they called it the auto mechanic tapes. This is before I even, you know, when it was it was circulating around there. Jeez, back in the dog day. But um, kicking the dog upside down in the apartment. Yeah, the fucking piano. The dog's wedged inside the piano. I can't. You know, Eric, the butt nut. I, I you got to get him out of the fucking piano. <laughs> Remember that guy. And he's like, oh, yeah. and you, you got a, a snarling dog, and you want me to get him out of the piano? <laughs> yeah, that, that's, a, and, and, that's a classic. And apparently, apparently he's not on call like a doctor. <laughs> right, right. But, um, yeah, no, those are, those are a couple of great cuts, man. So what I'll try to do is I'll try to, you know, play those, because I know there's a lot of fans out there, man, for those particular two uh, cuts there. They're both off Jerky Boys 1, I believe, yeah, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They're, yeah. They're both off Jerky Boys one. So yeah. um, it was Dan. It was nice to have you call in and then shoot the shit. So what do you think about like this part of the show where people can call in and just you know kind of fuck around? I think it's great, man. Um, I, I I heard about it in the first couple podcasts and I was like, cool, man. That would be really cool. And uh, I before I know it, I'm on the fucking show and uh, I'm I'm the first to be on the show and I'm 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 a huge fan, man. And, I really. Uh, I hope. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I, sorry. I, I hope a lot of other guys that are big fans. I, I know there's a lot out there. There's probably fans that are bigger than me, but I doubt it. But I hope a lot of guys get on the show and get to uh, swear and uh, call you fruitcake and all that fun stuff. Because, man, this just made my year. Well, you know what? I appreciate that, Dan. And you know what? It's, it's all new. So we're kind of flying by the seat of the pants here. You know, like you want to call in. You want to, you know, do some characters. You want to, you know, whatever the fuck. We'll talk current events. Yeah. I don't know. I don't give a shit. Whatever the We're just learning as we go here. So uh, yeah. just want to say thanks again, Dan. Appreciate, uh, you know, appreciate it. And, um, and uh, we'll talk soon. You know, I, I'm going to leave the number out there so you can, you know, the number for the show. I'll put that out there for everybody. And, uh. You know, you cool. call, call back and leave any ideas you come up with, just throw them out there. Right on, man. And, hey, let's give a quick shout-out to uh, the jerkyboys.com forum. Uh, anyone listening, if you want to join up, uh, I'm on there almost every day saying stupid shit. And, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's no, uh, no, n- nobody getting uh, hurt feelings there. We can all uh, sign up and swear and call each other fruitcakes and all that fun stuff. It's, it's a good time. So if you haven't joined up already... Join up and uh, let's get this shit going. You know, it's funny, Dan. I get you promote that more. It's funny. I got to start promoting that. It's like I got my my head is uh, like n- not with me today. Yeah, no. It, yeah. The jerkyboys.com. I don't push that enough, and I really have. I, I'm going to start doing that. But thanks, Dan. I yeah, really yeah. Pre- I really appreciate you calling in, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. And I'll get to those skits. I'll I'll get to those skits. I'll I'll take care of that right now. So we'll shoot the shit. All right. Thanks, Johnny. Appreciate All right, it, Dan. Good speaking with you, man. 
Say a prayer. Wish you luck in the future. Wish you luck in the future there, babe. Say a prayer. Paint uh, each right. other up. So I'll see you later, uh, Free Cake. All right, Dan. Bye. Right on, brother. Bye. All right, Dan. I'd like to thank Dan for uh, participating, being the first caller. You know, he's, he's you know, it's it's a nice thing. He's getting a little, you know, cute with his fucking mouth there, you know, talking about fucking whales and seals and all these other fucking sea urchins. I don't know, you know, taking pictures with them and all that, coming up with all these fucking wild stories, you know, about NASCAR and that, watching NASCAR and, you know, all these fucking uh, taking pictures of the fucking walruses that have asthma. And I, I'd, I've never heard of such a thing. Never heard of such a thing, Dave. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm just kidding, Dan. Just. Just having fun with you. All right. But again, thanks for being the first uh, caller on the show. Appreciate that. Yeah. So both of Dan's choices are. Uh, both of them are off Turkey Boys One, um, and uh, it's funny. The one with the Rottweiler. You know, the the uh, dog inside the piano. At the time, I actually did have a Rottweiler many many years ago. I I had a huge Rottweiler, like 165 pound Rottweiler, and his name was Rommel. And I was just thinking of him when, when, I, when I did that skit. And I just said, man, because the dog, just looking at him scared the, the shit out of you. So I was thinking of him and I, when I did that routine. And, and, and you could see Eric, the butt nut, you know, hi, it's me. I mean, he's, he's a pisser. And, uh, but he wasn't too happy about the call. He came out of the woodwork and he was pissed off. So we had to, you know, take care of him underneath the table there a little bit. You know what I mean? So uh, well, I'm going to play that. Then you get a chance to listen to it. And uh, that's an old classic. You know, the piano tuner. All right, there. So here's the butt nut off Jerky Boys 1, the piano tuner. Hello? Yeah, it's Eric there. This is me. Eric, how are you? Listen, you're the piano tuning guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, the butt nut. Listen, I need you to do me a favor. Who is this? This is uh, Frank Rizzo. I got the problem over here. Uh, who are you? I'm calling you because I need a little help. Right, uh, have I ever done pianos for you before? No, you haven't. Okay, well, where'd you get my name from? Uh, we got it out of the b- but I'll tell you what, I got a problem here. Huh? I, my fucking dog is inside the piano. He jumped, he must have jumped up there and got wedged down in the fucking wires. And I need you to help me do something. I don't know shit about this tuning. Get him out of there. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't help you right now. Well, I mean, your dog is stuck inside. Yeah, he jumped inside there. He's scared of me. I'm always beating him and whatnot. I got my wife over here screaming oh, to get the fucking dog piano. from the piano. Well, uh, I'm so, uh, you know, uh, uh, I am not on call like a doctor. Uh, oh, no. Well, uh, I could really use the help there, Eric. He's, uh, fuck, he's wedged in there. I don't know how to get him out of there. He's snapping at me. Where do you live? He stripped his fucking teeth. He's snapping. He's all, uh, he's really in bad shape. You expect me to to, atta- to take your dog that's snapping and barking and biting to get him out of a piano? Well, I don't think. Hey, he's a little too tough for me, there, Eric. Come on, I I need your help here, fruitcake. Please. Uh, what kind of dog is this? He's a Rottweiler. And you're right. Uh, no, I'm sorry. You'll have to call somebody else. Ah, uh, for Christ's sake! I can't count on you, people. Yeah, I'm sorry. Bye. Okay. I love that cut. Do you hear him in in the very beginning? He's all excited and happy. He's like, this is me. And as the call goes on, the guy just gets like crazy flustered. And your dog is, is, is stripping and barking and biting. And you want me to get him out at the piano? <laughs> and, the, and then he says, what kind of dog is this? Like as if it would make a difference. But when I tell him it's a Rottweiler, how he freaks out at the end. That's classic, man. I love that call. Yeah. You know, people used to always ask me, you know, how, how do you get it so clear? How... You know, how do you get these people, you know, everything's just so, just so, it it had a great, like a street, like a real rough type feel to it, but yet everything was very, very clear. And what I used to do when I first started, I had this weird, weird contraption. It was a phone that had a volume button on the side. It's like a weird volume button. And I used to have to scotch tape it with a, like a, I would break off a pencil eraser top and I'd push it against the button and tape that down. So I'd have a little extra volume. And then it wasn't long after that, that I, I literally, these things are taped through the open air. Uh, speaker phones, so they're not even patched in like through wires. These things are just, you know, a boom box and me laying on on the on, on the ground or the floor or with a pillow facing the boom box and uh, just going for it and and let and it's just right through the air. No, no, like I said, it's all open and just taping it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. Uh, it was a little tricky, you know. Uh, that's why I'm a little behind schedule here, you know, putting it all together, doing like all of the crap at once. 
you know, getting the whole Skype thing down and, you know, doing it all at once. And then the holiday kind of threw a monkey wrench right off the side of my fucking head. So um, that's why it was a little tricky here. I'm out a little bit late with this one, but it's still on Monday. But I um, hope you guys enjoyed it, man. And like I said, uh, you know, it's it's your feedback that's really important because that's it's going to help, you know, help me, you know, which way, which roads we go down. We steer down and pop wheelies down that road. So feedback, please, people, please. Okay. All right there, sizzle chest. Look, don't forget to check me out on Facebook.com slash Jerky Boys Johnny. You know, and leave me some cute little ideas, you know, questions or any, yeah, just some nice little things that we could throw up on the show here. Some nice little suggestions. You know, your, your favorite Jerky Boys cuts, you know, you want to have played and then you want to bullshit about and ask me about. That's, that's you know, so that's a good thing. Or you could hit me up on Twitter at Jerky Boys Johnny. You know, and tweet like a little fucking bird, you know? I'll fill you up like my little fucking bird. Also, check out thejerkyboys.com. That's thejerkyboys.com. And uh, this, this is cool. This is really cool now, too, with the Skype thing. So, you know, you go, go to Skype. Here's the number for Skype. 718-878-5668. 718-878-5668. All right? So you call in there, and you can leave uh, some stuff, like record some messages and shit and do some funny shit, and I'll play it on the show. So that's, that's also another little fucking avenue that we're going to, you know, any little rants you might have. You want to go ranting about, you know, with your cute little self. All right there, so we'll uh, see you next week there, sweet pants. Hey, and don't forget to go to Gamefly.com slash haha and get your 15-day trial from Gamefly. They have over 7,000 titles to choose from, all game systems and handhelds, no late fees, free shipping, cancel anytime. That's Gamefly.com slash haha to get your free 15-day trial, rubber ass. Gamefly, games delivered. You got me, chief. Oh, oh, come on now, hold still. Stop moving around. Hold still, I said. Oh. 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 Hold still. Oh.